You want to know what we haven't done so far in this cluster series of over like 120 episodes? We haven't fought Rockwell. Yeah, I, I don't even know why we haven't done that yet. Honestly, I think I was planning on trying to do this last year because I have some Megalosaurus that I remember taming. Also, some pretty good stats. 54 points into the uh, stamina on this one. That's pretty good. Uh, 51 points into weight. And uh, this one's got 45 into health, which is not super amazing. I'll try and get something a little bit better. But uh, yeah, that's the first thing we're going to try and do here today. Another thing we need to do is uh, we need to try and actually do all the caves because I don't believe we have any of these artifacts at all. So it's going to be a jam-packed episode of things to do because first of all, we will, of course, be taming up these, these Megalosauruses. But then I also need to try and mutate them, uh, mutate the crap out of them. Um, and then also, you know, the caves and then fight Rockwell eventually. Yeah, a long little list of things that we need to try and get done for this but i'm all down for it because i have like another list of things that i need to do for these next few videos and one of them involves crafting skilling some stuff so i'm gonna actually need those extra levels that rockwell's gonna give me for the ascension so that's kind of the point of why we're doing this specifically in this video now i know we fought rockwell like 20 billion times on this channel but this time's different i swear it no it's not it, it really isn't but we do have a lot of things that we need to do to get to that point so guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one i'm gonna start searching for some megalosauruses and you're gonna watch a sponsor read this video is sponsored by manscaped.com men's health is at the core of Manscaped. And that's why for the month of April, Manscaped has teamed up with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness and educate people on how to check yourself. Testicular cancer is the most common cancer amongst men between the ages of 15 and 35. And when it's caught early, it's much easier to deal with. With products like their Lawnmower 4.0, a waterproof trimmer that you can bring into the shower, there's really no excuse not to check yourself at least once a month. You can download the Ball Checker app for easy instructions on how to perform a self-examination. Manscaped has also pledged to donate $50,000 to TCS to help those impacted with testicular cancer. So head on over to manscaped.com and you can check out all their awesome products and if you want to pick something up you can use code syntac 20 for 20 percent off plus free international shipping trust me your balls will thank you what the hell i just got snaked on oh but we're getting roll ratted on now what the hell's happening who's doing this so anyway thanks guys for watching the sponsor read uh of course this month that is supporting charity as well which is awesome so uh yeah check out their stuff Anyway, um, so I'm looking for these megalosaurs. I should really just be killing every single one that I find that isn't a good level. But um, I, I do also kind of want to talk a little bit about, about the base that we have on this map because honestly, it's absolutely rubbish. I had an idea for it. I do want to try and do something completely different, but I don't know when we're going to do that. Probably at some point after these next few episodes where I want to try and get all these things done because like the next few episodes are going to be pretty intense. I've got a lot of things planned that we're going to have to try and get done. And, um, you know, after all that, maybe we can come back over here and, uh, and make a proper good base. I have a really good concept for one that I want to try and uh, flesh out a little bit in my head before we get there. But um, hopefully by the time we get to that point, I'll have a really, really good idea for it. And also, I don't know what event is active on here, but there's definitely an event because uh, there's crazy colors. Probably the Christmas event. I have no idea. I haven't been over here in a long time. Uh, it could even be an event from last year or Valentine's Day. I'm not really sure. Anyway, uh, I'm going to continue to look for these dudes. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get some more good stats. You know what I just realized? I could have brought my net gun. God damn it. Now I'm going to have to go back and grab that. All right. That's, uh, that's a good amount. I think you can only use 25, right? Something like that. 174. Okay, you better be able to net these things. Yeah, you can. Sweet. Well, that thing went down really quick. Uh, good to know. Um, wow. Okay, well, <laughs> I've ruined it. Oh, that sucks. I completely ruined this thing. I mean, did it even have any good stats? I don't know. I don't know. I'll let it wake up. It's, it's fine. Oh, my God. Okay, well, at least I know they go down really quick. All right, so this one chasing me is a 180, and boom. Gotcha. All right, I will not screw up on this one. Get me off. There we go. Let's see. Let me just stand right beside it. I need to be able to see that right there, and I'll be able to tell if it goes uh, unconscious. Unfortunately, when things are netted, there's really no way of telling because there's no change unless when the net comes off, if they're still unconscious, if they're still in this position, that means that they are. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna stop now. Let's see. Let's pull this out. Let me check. Okay, yeah, yeah. One more, one more. Sweet. Okay, good to know. Like, what is that? Like, four four darts, I think, in total? I do have a really good rifle. Like, I mean, check this thing out. It's It's got 450-ish 
uh, damage on it. And of course, these are the top tier of darts as well. Uh, there we go though sweet uh to be honest we're probably gonna try and just continuously tame these things until i get some better um i want some better health and i want some better uh melee as well the best melee i have i think is 45 as well as the health being 45 which is still pretty good but i just want something slightly higher if we can uh so yeah anyway we're gonna keep doing this oh my are you kidding me 58 points is ridiculous that is disgusting holy crap 58 points into melee okay and that was a 174 imagine if that had been a 180 and it still had like those same base stats and everything would have potentially gotten 59 potentially 60 that is ridiculously good okay well that's amazing um that's really good because the rest of the uh the megalosaurs i've been taming have all been really bad um, none of them have had anything even that close to, um, to any of my other stats. Actually, you know what? That's not true. Uh, we did actually get another 45 point into health Megalosaurus. That is disgusting though. Holy crap. 50, 58 points is ridiculous. Wait, what was that number again? Okay. So it's coming out at 466. Okay. That's, that's, yeah, that is amazing. Okay, great. You know what? I think I might take what I have now and just start the breeding process. Uh, Megalosaurus do take a long time to tame up. Uh, they're, they take no time to knock out. They take a long ass time to actually wake up, you know, after the taming and everything. So, um, yeah, we did tame quite a few of them. Obviously, the original ones are in here as well. So what is that? Ten in total, uh, including those. So I guess seven today. Uh, anyway, um, let me I got to find the, the ones that we're looking for, though. So we want the weight. We want the health. And where's the stem? There we go. So we got the 51 points into weight. We've got the 45 into health. Uh, this one here is the melee. And then this one here is the stamina. Okay, amazing. Initially, I was thinking of bringing these dudes back over to Val to do the breeding process. But then I remembered that if I did that, uh, you know, they revert to normal megalosaurs. And then, you know, they'll fall asleep and they won't be able to breed for most of the time. My plan was to breed them over there and then just bring eggs over here and hatch them. But even the breeding process would be difficult over there because they would just fall asleep during the whole daytime so that kind of sucks either way though uh we can get this whole breeding process done you're not mating with the other one are you no you are not sweet cool uh awesome so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so here is the breeding operation aka the megalosaurus organic bridge that looks so strange looking it really does they're all just like interlocked with each other uh so of course i did drop them down as they i can't even get through <laughs> i dropped them down when they were babies and uh they've all kind of grown up into each other if i restart the server or leave they might shift slightly but it, sh it should still be okay so yeah there's 20 females here um hopefully we can try and get some mutations going here uh oh there he goes oh look at that champ right there 20 <laughs> 20 of them all at once oh man anyway yeah so i'll see you guys on the other side all right so we're on the other side of all the mutating we'll get to that in just a second but first I want to craft 18 of these, so let's go ahead and pop that and crafting skill all of these things. So this is my best saddle blueprint. It's not super amazing, but basically like 70 armor is good enough, I would say. Um, so yeah, we're, I'm good with that for the moment. Uh, let's see. This one, oh, whoa, 61%. God damn, that's, that's really good, actually. Holy crap. Uh, this one's also really good, 52%. There's another one around that kind of... Uh, number as well. Do we get any terrible ones though? That's the real question here. Uh, ten percent's not bad. Oh yeah, this one here is pretty bad. We only got two percent of that. But you know what? Doesn't really matter. These are gonna be still pretty good anyway. Um, should I paint them? <sighs> Maybe. Yeah. You know what? I actually might paint them. I I'm gonna try and do that from now on because I just keep forgetting to do that. Okay. So we're gonna run through these stats real quick. So first of all, these are the uh, wild stats all together into the one megalosaurus. So uh, we had just shy of 10,000 health, which is already pretty amazing. And then the melee was 466, jumping into the mutated one right here. I managed to, I was going to stop at 20, okay? 20 on the health and melee together. But then I was like, no, I, I just keep getting more and more. I just, I ended up stopping at 35 and I was very tempted to go to 40. But then I was like, no, 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 I need to get this video out at some point this week. So yeah we're uh we're stopping at 35 well we have stopped at 35 on both of them right there and um the melee jumps up by a huge huge amount almost 14,000 actually which is ridiculous or no i just said melee i meant health uh then the melee jumps up by 400 which is insane and then obviously this thing's not imprinted here's the imprinted version boom 28,000 on the health and uh just 
like a thousand and fifty there on the melee. Um, yeah, these things are absolutely ridiculous. And this isn't even leveled, by the way. Uh, I'm very excited to actually use them because I have indeed leveled a bunch of them. Do I have them in there or in my inventory? Yeah, I have them inside of there. Let's see. Let me show you real quick. So I did, of course, also uh, <laughs> paint up those saddles. It's a major pain painting so many saddles, but it's fine if you're doing them all the exact same. So uh, here's the look of them as well, by the way. Um, I, I was gonna go kind of insane with the colors, but they only have three regions. It's the top right there, it's the middle, and then it's the underbelly. So, yeah, uh, I was gonna try and get some really crazy looking colors, but then I got, this is like a, it's a, a different version of the black. It's not the actual black, I think it's called something like that, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, the black and the red just go so well together, they really do. And then I got the white, and I was like, it's a nice contrast from the black and the red. So, I decided to go with that, and it looks pretty cool, actually, um... Here, let me, there you go. Look, you can see it's little glowy stripes in the side right there. It looks pretty cool. Uh, I think it kind of looks a bit weird, though, when it combines with the white, but it's kind of okay. Anyway, um, so yeah, that, uh, that right there is the look of them. And um, here, check out the stats. So eight levels brought it up to 40,000 ridiculous and then the rest um I, I think probably like 50 levels or something went into the melee and we're coming out at just shy of 2000 on the melee i have yet to try them out so let's go ahead and do that obviously i've tried them out with the base stats because i had to kill a bunch of megalore sources to actually level them to be honest maybe i should try and show more of that process because we're kind of just jumping from not having these things to having them and and everything and oh by the way can you even bring shadow mains onto this map I don't even know. So now what we have to do is all three artifact caves. And um, they're they're not too intense. They really shouldn't be right now anyway, because I have really OP creatures. Um, so let me go ahead and put you away real quick. And we're going to head on into this one. I guess I could just show the GPS because I, I guess some people might want to see this. Let's see. Boom, right there. There it is. And let's put that away. Okay, so we're just testing this dude out. He is pretty fiery. He's doing some ridiculously good damage right here. We're kind of getting random numbers there a little bit, actually. Uh, why are those numbers all over the place? I'm just very confused why there was a 2600 uh, one there. That's very confusing. Um, anyway, let's let's keep powering through here if we can. Uh, I think we might need to put him away real quick because this is either a part where you'd have to, like, jump or, or grapple or whatever. So let's put you away. Um, yeah, that is some ridiculously good damage, though. I'm very happy and excited to check. Oh, hello. I guess I could kill you. I, I don't need to, but I, I could do it. We could go ahead and kill that thing real quick. Wait, what level is it? Actually, you know what? Oh, my God, that's on 174. All right, hang on. Uh, crap. I wish I brought more Megalosaurs now. I wish I had known. I didn't know. God damn it. All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and deal with some of these dudes real quick if I can. Oh, they're all jumping at me. Get off of my face. There we go. All right, let me just deal with all these guys, and then we'll um, we'll figure out what I want to do to try and kill that Carcanos, Carcanos down there. Maybe um, Mystique, actually, or I guess, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I could just chuck this dude down. He could probably kill it, actually, but I'm just worried about the jellyfish, so I'm going to have to kill those things first. And we got to watch out for these raptors, because they can pounce on you on this map, which is really silly. They, they can only pounce if they're aberrant raptors, which is just the strangest thing. They, they took away the ability for all other raptors, but aberrant ones can, which doesn't seem right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, do I have my tech rifle? Yeah, I do. Um, you see, I don't want to actually go down there with my uh, Megalosaurus, because if I do that, then uh, he's going to pull me off my mount and, and clobber me into the ground or something. Um, can I whistle attack? There we go. That is a giant arrow. Um, okay, cool. So he's going to go ahead and fight for us. Wow, okay. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, let me gamma up. I want to actually be able to see if this crab's about to die. Uh, I can't really see too much blood. I can't actually see any blood, to be honest. Um, they do have a lot of health, though, right? I I'm pretty sure they have a good amount. I mean, he's hitting he's hitting them with, like, 2k per hit right now, so it's got to be a crab ton. <laughs> or a crab ton. No, that's awful. I should cut that bit out. Uh, all right, well, anyway, let me, let me give him a little bit of a hand here. <laughs> I'm not really doing anything. He's probably doing the majority of this damage here. Come on, buddy. Yeah, okay. So we're seeing just a little bit of blood right there. Uh, there's no point of zooming in at all. We can't really see anything additional. Damn, this thing must have a lot of health. I, I don't even know. Like, I I'm probably not even going to be able to see because he's going to eat him immediately. Oh, okay, I couldn't stop him. Eh, it's okay. All right, so it took 5,000 damage. Um, And he probably dished out. I don't even know. Like, that thing must have had 
more than 150,000. I, I don't know. It hit a lot. He hit a lot of times. All right, so artifact is right over there. And I think it's the, um, the depth, right? All right, let's grab that real quick and power punch this dude off my face or not, I guess. So that is one down, two more to go, and a bunch of other stuff. All right, here we are at the second cave, and it's located right here in the crystalline lake, and we're just going to swim straight down. How do I go underwater again with this dude? Oh, he's, there's a freaking Barry. Move. <laughs> I can't move. What the hell? Okay, there we go. What on earth just happened there? That was really weird. I did not like that. Okay, can we keep going down, please? Okay, we've got to hold down C, I guess. Maybe tacking my way through the water would have been quicker. Okay, at least there's no crab there. I've definitely come into this cave before and immediately been met with an alpha crab, or maybe not. I can't... I think it might have just been a crab. But, like, having it right there as you're trying to get down and under into this area is just... It's not really what you want, I, I guess. Nah, not really. I know this is a longish one, so we're probably just going to power through just a little bit. Okay, we got to crouch. My god, do you guys remember Ark before cryopods? <laughs> we used that to breed creatures and bring them in. It was ridiculous. All right. Oh, dude, I don't know which way it is. I can't remember for the life of me. I think it's down here, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down here, right? Yeah, yeah. This is definitely it. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think I just remembered. Th there's like a bunch of jellyfish in here, right? Oh, dude. <laughs> Why do they have to do that? It's just not fair. Jellyfish and eels. Like, it's just the stuff that you don't want to encounter in the water. They just put a lot of it in there. So maybe going through with my tech rifle would be safer than trying to use any creature, really. Um, probably try and take care of some of these dudes. Got a bunch of angler fish. We hit them a little bit, they'll leave us alone. <gasps> There's a crab right there. I didn't even see it. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Great. Freaking Carcanos, man. There you are. There we go. He's dead. He was only he was only a low level. Is this thing dead? Oh no, there it is. Oh, it's 180. Rip. Oh. Uh! I got eeled. At least it wasn't jellyfished. Oh, I'm trying to fly. There we go. We're doing it. Look at this. Tech just makes everything easier. Get off my face. Not this, though. There we go. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a lot of them. Holy. Dude, there's like six or seven of them just on my face right there immediately. Probably more. I, I can't even tell. It's just a massive swarm of, like, wings. All right. Let's look up right here they're all alpha boosted what the hell is an alpha are you kidding me is there a freaking alpha crab in here again there's probably an alpha crab unless it's an alpha basilisk it's possible i, I don't know if you'd find that in here though <gasps> okay keep moving Ooh. why would they put an alpha crab in here who would do that to me okay get off can't even hit them there we go one hit and they're both dead. When are they going to make these things breedable, by the way? Like, they need to be breedable. Ah, get off. There we go. We're good. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely need to make those things breedable. Them and basilisks. Both of them need to be breedable. And griffins, but, you know, griffins aren't on this map. Um, There's definitely an alpha crab in here, right? Oh, okay. Well, that's there. But, like, do you guys see this? Archiditions. Freaking Dinosuchus. One of the most terrifying creatures ever. <laughs> <laughs> that thing was just right there. I don't know why, but I just didn't suspect that I'd find something like this. You know, out of everything that could be in this this cave. I did not think I'd find that. Uh, hello. Also, why am I more terrified of this than the alpha crab? Oh, God. What did I just turn you into? All right, Mr. Giant Enemy Crab. Why don't you come on out here? Oh, wait. No, no. I don't think he can, right? I'm pretty sure I've had a situation like this before where there's like an alpha back there and they can't get out, but you got to keep shooting at them or something. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he can get out. I might be making all of this up. Oh, hello. I wasn't even in the water. That, that's not fair. Okay, go ahead and kill it for me. Thank you. Kill everything else. There's the crab. Yeah, he can get out. Dude, that's not fair. Freaking Baryonyx is being all mean to me and everything. <laughs> don't appreciate it. All right, hello. Huh, why don't you... Why don't you come over here? He's my champion. He's going to fight for me. Don't come after me, bro. What level are you? Oh, it's only a low level. We're good. Almost dead and dead, 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 dead. Hey, dead. I like how I'm like, you know, I'm just going to complete aberration all in one video. And, and just... <laughs> Man, this stuff is a lot more difficult than I remember. I definitely bit off way more than I could chew. All right. I'm just going to power right through. That's what I want. Yum. Here we go. I gotta say, I, I still have a very clear memory of my first time doing this cave, and it was terrifying because we had no idea if we were even going in the right direction or what was through this water, and it was really scary. 
<laughs> this cave for sure very well designed and difficult to do but there we go artifact of the shadows and we have done it and now i have to get out of here god damn it all right here we are at the final cave 81.1 47.7 so i'll probably just try to speed through this one as well like there's no major obstacles like there was in in the last one where i'd have to like swim through water and stuff so provided that i can remember how to get through here i think we should have a pretty easy time and oh my god there's so many creatures okay so from what i remember the artifact is like high up I don't exactly know where. I know it's like high up. I think it might be over here, actually. Uh, yeah, this is it, right? Yeah, it's right there. Sweet. Wow, that actually took like no time at all. I don't know why, but I thought this cave was like a little longer. Even though, you know, you can speed right through. I, I still thought it was, you know, more of a journey to get to it. But we're good. There we go. That was really easy. Um, and that's the third and final artifact that we needed. So now we just got to get back to base and double check everything else and i should be good I, to be honest i feel like i probably even have an alpha reaper barb so we should be good to go uh to just do this immediately hardest part about this cave was actually finding the entrance it really it took me a couple minutes it really did okay here we go rockwell on alpha difficulty boat okay never mind uh <laughs> boom there we go and here we go boom <laughs> it's so silly all right, let's go ahead and delete that. So I'm going to chuck this Nameless Venom into the Rock Drake. Uh, Rock Drakes love Nameless Venom. It heals them by 100 health. So if you're not using it in the boss fight, you, you are definitely mistaken. You should be using it. It's it's absolutely fantastic. Uh, obviously, with a stack mod, it's a lot easier to get a lot of it and keep it. But, uh, you know, you can at least do a little bit of farming before you head on in. So anyway, uh, here we go. We are almost ready. I'm just, by the way, I'm not hopped onto the rock trick just in case I don't want to have a situation where my teams go and I don't. That would be awful. So we got the 18 megalosaurus, we got the rock drake, and we got the shine horn on my shoulder just in case we run into some reapers, which can definitely spawn. And there he is, that big, beautiful bastard. I wish David Tennant was voicing him at this point. That would be amazing. I'd love if they like went back and like added some dialogue or something, but they, they're probably not going to do that. Here we go. All right, how many shots is it going to take to take out one tentacle? Um, by the way, I'm just going to leave all these megalosaurus here. We'll come back for them after. Um, I'll have to send them on in to actually kill the, you know, Rockwell himself. Okay, what was that like? What was that, nine shot? No way. Are you kidding? Wait, I got to use the um, shadow stake. Was that nine shots or was that like eight and a half or seven and a half or something? I might have missed some of them potentially. Here we go. Oh, I thought I was already reloaded. God damn it. All right, let's see. Uh, I wasn't even counting. Okay, hang on. Okay, here's a full clip. Let's let's do this. One. I don't need to count. <laughs> we'll know what it's six. Trust me. All right. Okay, there we go. That's six. I'm going to try and avoid some of these balls because they're just going to keep chasing me. Unless I shoot them, which I can also do, but whatever. Um, is it seriously nine? Really? Ah, oh, that sucks. That is a lot. That we have to hit this thing so many times at least it's gonna be kind of even though you know i'll if i hit if i hit every single shot you know i'll, I'll use half a mag on one uh, oh there we go was that okay i don't know how many i just used there it doesn't even matter realistically i'm probably potentially hitting more of the uh, pellets on them with some of these shots when i get closer i don't know i was just thinking like if it was nine i could do you know, one and a half and then use the other half and the next one, then reload fully and then take out that next one. I don't know. I'm just trying to satisfy myself. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Can I use the tech rifle in here? Oh, I can. Ooh, how much does that do? Okay, a 320. Ah! <laughs> We're good. <laughs> uh, 320 is pretty good. Uh, probably not better than the shotgun, but in a pinch, it could be really handy to use on this dude. I did also grab some extra shotgun shells. I was going to go in with 400, and then I was thinking, I don't know how many it actually will take. So I want to just have more than I'm potentially going to need just in case, because I don't bring creatures to like follow me in here. I just kind of run around by myself and, and have the creatures attack Rockwell when, you know, they're able to. Um, but I know some people like would probably also have some stuff following them, maybe like a Reaper would probably be a good idea and maybe i should have done that considering i have like 100 reapers but it's fine all right we're on the last one here let's see can i whistle them in yet i wonder can i do that okay here we go i was wondering if we could do that before or after uh i don't know i'm pretty sure this is not timed pretty sure this is like damage based like him 
crouch down like this, but I'm going to shoot anyway, just in case. Why did... Okay, you guys better also go over there, please. There we go. Come on, get in there. There you go. All right. Ooh, oh, crap. I just took a bunch of damage. I think I was pooping. No, maybe not. Oh, no, maybe I was. I'm not sure. I wasn't able to move. All right, well, we got to do this for a little bit. A little bit of tentacle action. Just, you know, hanging out and killing tentacles for like probably a half an hour because it's literally going to take almost the full amount of time that we have. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'll bring you guys back if anything exciting happens. Why aren't you guys? There we go. Really? They were not attacking at all and they would not whistle onto it. I feel like I've had frustrations in this arena because of that exact same thing happening all the time. Super annoying. Getting kind of close to the end here. He's got probably like a fifth of his health left maybe it's kind of hard to tell oh <laughs> tentacle straight to the face lovely okay here we go this should be the last one i need to get closer to my dudes before come on start attacking start attacking fire everything yes we did it all right i know how this works oh i should probably keep that i need to pop everything in here potentially just in case i don't want a situation where i lose my stuff don't like that. Need to also hop off. There we go. Just in case. I don't know if they fixed that. I have no idea, but there we go. <sighs> we have done it. I guess we could watch this cutscene too. You know, I find it funny that that is not even how Extinction looks. <laughs> what a great teaser, though. I loved that back in the day. That was dope. All right. Uh, so we're here. Uh, do I have another radiation suit? I think I might. We might be good. I got to go back down to the uh, the area to grab all my dudes. So I know I left my Bloodstalker up here. Yeah, I don't have another full suit. Okay, I guess we're just going to have to go down like this. That's fine. <laughs> Kind of annoying, but we're just going to have to go naked. We'll make it, though. I got lots of health. I got to say, now that I can be... What level can I be? What level am I right now? Uh, I can be level 140. That's dope. Now that I can get at least past level 135, it means that I get to potentially, at some point... Maybe, to be honest, we might be able to try and do this for today's video. Uh, if we can get to level 135, I can unlock the super dope uh engrams and stuff that you can get from um from s plus at level 135 so we should totally try and do that because there's a lot of really nice things in there and i've been dying to play with them taking a little bit of damage but it's okay we got some health brews over here oh we got rock drakes attacking great uh okay i guess kill that for me thank you thanking you all right let me hop off grab my rock drake he's got everything boom pop on this armor okay let's get back up here so yeah we got a lot of goodies here at level 135 from s plus this right here i am extremely excited to get that that is the repair station or something oh my god it's so good it, it you just drop your stuff in and you can pull all the materials that you would need to fix whatever you've put in there it's just amazing um and then this the translocator box which the best way to describe that it's kind of like a teleporter for items so yeah, not like an ender chest, more like a teleporter. You you pick where you want them to go, and then they go there. Super handy for my farms. So definitely want to unlock that. 
To be honest, I think we could probably head off of this map now. I think I'll put my Megalosauruses away first, though. Speaking of the Megalosauruses, it kind of looks like they all took around like 15,000 damage. So I definitely went overboard with the health on them. Uh, Could have went with a lot less, but that's okay. Uh, we have the Rockwell Trophy. I'm pretty sure we can't bring that through the Obelisk. So I'll put that away here for the moment. Um, although, you know what? I'm going to drop that on the ground and do my thing. So I can't bring them through the Obelisk. So what I do is drop one on the ground wherever I'm going from and then, you know, uh, spawn in a new one wherever I want to have it. So that being, of course, uh, Valgiro. Sure, it's cheating, but I'm losing one and gaining one. It's, you know, it evens out in my opinion. Oh crap, I just realized. No, I left some creatures. I left... Night Owl is still here. I need to grab those things. I love how my base loads in. Like, I usually have to stand here for like a little bit. <laughs> it's really silly. The game just has to realize that I'm technically here. Well, there we go. Look at my new little implant. That looks dope. All right, let's see. So I want to make a tech sleeping chamber. Now I'm going to grab this and we're going to sleep in this for I don't know how long because when you're in this, it uh, it gives you... Wait, what do I want to do? There we go. Oh, okay, yeah. Got to make sure I'm not hitting E at all. When you're in this thing, it, uh, it gives you XP. So if I can kind of just AFK or I guess log off inside of this, I'll log back on with probably 15 more levels. I mean, I could do that, or I guess I could also just, you know, kill a bunch of gigas. I guess we could do that. That would probably make more sense. But yeah, I'm super excited to have the uh, sleeping pod thingy or whatever it's called. What is it actually called? Is it called the sleeping pod? Yeah, tech sleeping pod. Cool. Um, love this thing. It's so cool looking. It really is. All right, so I killed a bunch of baby gigas and now we're level 136, which is dope. Um, and I pumped some points into movement speed and then the rest into weight. I have no idea what else to pump here. I don't need any more health. I've already got 500. I don't need any more stamina. Oxygen's fine. You know, fortitude's fine. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, we have access to, oh no, are you kidding? Tech light. I need to kill the Ragnarok boss arena then. Great. That sucks. All right. Well, whatever. That's that's fine. I guess I could do that at some point soon. Ah, that's annoying. I was really excited for this thing specifically and also, you know, this, but this is great too. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Let's uh let's talk about what we actually have unlocked though. The repair station, I explained that you can just drop your stuff in, pull pull all the items you would need to repair them, and then just click one button and it will repair them all. It just saves a lot of time, which is cool. Uh this is the tech stove. It's like a tech version of a um of a, a grill, I suppose. I can't remember all the stuff that it actually does. I, I guess you can make it into jerky straight inside of it. Uh the the issue with some of these things is that as you can see, it costs a King Titan trophy head. Don't agree with that, especially this one. This is the alpha version of that. Like, you know, it makes them like, <laughs> it makes these things kind of just pointless. Cause like, I'm never going to kill the King Titan and then waste the trophy on a really cool forge when I don't actually need it. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't really agree with the, the, the pricing of these things. I guess I could try and edit that stuff at some point. I don't know how to do that. I'll have to figure it out, but, um, yeah, we can make some of this stuff. We can make the S Plus Laboratory, which is like a pimped out um, chemistry bench, which is pretty cool. It is very expensive, of course. It costs eight chemistry benches. I mean, this thing right here costs 64 forges, and they cost like 2,500 metal ingots themselves. That's ridiculously expensive. Um, yeah, what would that be then? Uh, what was that? 160,000 metal, I think, just off the top of my head. Maybe not correct with that, but anyway... Yeah, so this thing right here, it's it's a tech fridge and it costs 64 fridges and the beta head. Not worth it. Not worth it for those things at all. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably make some of this stuff. I mean, we, we could definitely make a couple of these things, especially this. I'm going to make that right now, actually. Maybe here for the moment, I guess. I don't really know where else. Uh, first of all, it looks really cool looking. Secondly, like, just check this out. Like, it just makes things a little bit faster. I don't know. I, I like it. So... Wait, I shouldn't have selected anything. Let me go back out. So we can just pull all of the like resources needed to do this type of stuff. Why do I have so much just straight up polymer? You know what? I realized why I have all that polymer. That is from the the crate things on extinction. So I got to pull for organic polymer instead. Maybe I got to do something with my normal polymer just to make it not pull that. Okay, I guess it doesn't really even matter to be honest. Like 
I have so much organic polymer, it's not ever going to matter. Anyway, so we could just go ahead and click. Uh, oh, I've already done that one. We just repair all, and it just repairs everything all at once like that. That's just fantastic. So let's drop our weapons in here as well. So we have completed everything that I wanted to try and do for this video, and I feel really accomplished. We we managed to completely like defeat all of Aberration and, and get our Ascension levels and everything. Just a couple levels away from level 140, and then I'll start crafting, skilling some things, and oh boy, I can't wait for these next few videos. Like, <laughs> it's gonna be crazy. But uh, yeah, guys, that is gonna be it for today. If you have enjoyed the video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button, and I will catch you in the next one.